Thank you, Nishla, and a very good afternoon to everyone. Um, thank you for joining all of us today. Uh, it gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all for the second part of our final internship presentation. Um, at MRC, our mission has always been to enhance the understanding and sustainable management of underwater domain. Uh, it basically covers various topics, maritime security, blue economy, marine environment, disaster management, and so on and so on. Um, but the fact that we are dealing with multi the fact that we are dealing with multifaceted uh, uh, domains also means that we need to have uh, an advanced set of technologies, advanced skill stack, uh, multidisciplinary methods to tackle the complex problems that uh, arrives in the maritime domain per se. Uh, and so uh, in the last presentation, uh, in, the, in the last part of the uh, final presentation, I took you all through the uh, different projects that we have done and, and, the, and the different domains that we are dealing with. Uh, today, I'll take you through the six main pillars uh, which define our research flow, uh, basically showcasing how we perform any particular research at MRC to begin with. Uh, first and foremost, we essentially look at the research framework. Uh, we begin our research by identifying the key areas that require attention. Uh, these areas often stem from global and regional maritime issues, uh, such as illegal fishing, uh, maritime uh, piracy, environmental degradation, and so on and so forth, climate change. Uh, marine ecosystem degradation and so on. And then it is also important that we then align our research objectives with the comprehensive UDA framework, because just because we identify something that is that requires attention does not mean that it's something that, uh, uh, I mean, we specifically specialize in UDA framework, so we align our research objectives with the comprehensive UDA framework, um, and which then again encompasses the security and economical aspect of it uh, per se. Um, the second main pillar for our research work is data collection analysis. Uh, data is the backbone of our research. We collect data from various sources, including satellite imagery, underwater sensors, uh, acoustic monitoring, and remote sensing technologies. Uh, this data is meticulously analyzed to identify patterns, trends, and anomalies in the underwater domain. Uh, our team employs state-of-the-art analytical tools and techniques, including machine learning and big data analytics, to process and interpret this vast amount of information. Um, in fact, uh, you would see a diverse set of data usage in the proof of concepts that are designed by interns um, in the presentations that uh, they will be making today. Uh, the third pillar essentially is the collaborative approach. Uh, we at MRC believe that collaboration is crucial to our research efforts. We work closely with government agencies, academic institutions, and industry partners, uh, and including international organizations as well. Um, and by fostering these partnerships, we ensure that our research is comprehensive and it is relevant and impactful as well. Beyond addressing a problem, we try to address the problem in the most in the most relevant manner. Um, then, then, then comes the aspect of field research and experiments. Uh, field research again is a significant concept uh, component of our work. Our researchers conduct on-site investigations, which are essential for validating the theoretical models and understanding the practical impl impl implications of our research. Um, moreover, we conduct experiments to test new technologies and methodologies, um, aiming to improve. Uh, improve the tools that we have built, improve the methods that we have built. So we, we try to kind of uh, uh, go with a water cycle model where we keep on reiterating over our process flow so that we can keep making it better time and again. Uh, but the good the the research that uh, happens at MRC does not end with data analysis per se, uh, data analysis and field work. The fifth pillar essentially is the policy and advocacy. Uh, we place a strong emphasis on translating our findings into actionable policies and practices. Um, our team regularly publishes reports, uh, white papers, and policy briefs to inform and influence decision makers. Um, we also engage in advocacy efforts to raise awareness about the critical maritime issues and, and promote the sustainable practices that uh, coincide with the underwater domain awareness uh, framework. Um, lastly, and probably the most importantly, education and capacity building is also something that we take pride in. Uh, while many, uh, while I mean, apart from doing research and like uh, advocating for policy, it is also important that we educate uh, everyone around what we have learned, and therefore education and capacity building are integral to our mission. Uh, we conduct training programs, workshops, and seminars to share our knowledge and expertise with the uh, broader maritime industry. Uh, we have set up a, a separate e-learning modules uh, that we, we call them. Which all, all the work that we do, they get translated into an education capacity building effort where we try to uh, build uh, build a set of uh, knowledge base which can be utilized by uh, skilled professionals and, and therefore contribute to the sustainable management of our underwater resources. 
so these are the broad six pillars that we do our research work through, and this is how every single work uh, flows through in MRC. Uh, I believe that the presentations that will be given by the interns today will showcase that multifaceted approach and the multiple domains that we work with um, and the challenges that we try to effectively uh, solve. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Thank you. Thank you.